Hello, Hope City. My name is Rudy Oropesa. My wife Tiffany and I are the location pastor here at Hope City, Mexico, in La Sanzuela, Veracruz. And today we want to share some encouragement and also to introduce you uh, to our worship team. Hello, everybody. Uh, we're so glad we could join you today. Uh, we just wanted to encourage you with a short message, and we just wanted to let you guys know that we know these are challenging times uh, for all of us. This have been a lot of routines that have been shaking up, and um, so we know that this is kind of different situation for most of us. Um, but we just want to remind you that no matter what happens uh, in this world, that we we still can worship God, um, and so. Even if they shut our buildings down and we can't physically be there together, um, it doesn't matter because we can still worship, we can still pray, we can still read our Bibles, we can do all of that on our own um, from home or wherever you may be. And so I want to start today with sharing uh, Psalms 100 with you. So I'm just going to read for you. It says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. Amen. And so... I just want to share a few things that God has been putting on my heart to share with you all um, as I was studying and deciding what we should what we should share with you guys. Um, and I just want to remind us that we know a lot of things are going on in this world that maybe most of us don't understand, um, and that's okay. Uh, there's going to be seasons in our lives that we're going to pass through situations that we don't understand. Um, but we need to remember that Proverbs encourages us to not rely on our own understanding. Um, but to trust in God, and that's all we need to do. We need to remember that God is still in control. He's still on the throne. It doesn't matter what happens in this world. Um, maybe we can't see the big picture or understand all of the purpose behind things we pass through, but God has the big picture, and he has the plan for us. He already um, has plans for our good, not for our harm. And so if we trust in that and believe in that, that's all we need to do. We, we just need to rest in his trust and know that no matter what happens, it's going to work out for our good. And so we don't have to understand everything or see the bigger picture. Um, second of all, I just want to point out that, um, like the psalm says, we need to be thankful. Um, Paul, Apostle Paul says uh, that we need to learn to be content in every situation and circumstance that we find ourselves in, and that is so important. And um, we need to give thanks always. And so... Right now, we're surrounded by so much negativity. Um, there's a lot of people who've maybe gone a little stir-crazy or they're feeling a little isolated or depressed or anxious or fearful, and I want to cancel those um, spirits right now in the name of Jesus. And I just want to remind us, you know, to be intentional about being thankful to God. One thing I try to do, I'm not consistent with, is to do a gratitude journal to actually write down the things I'm thankful for every day. Um, I also try to walk with my kids and point out the things, you know, as we're walking you know, that we're thankful for the fresh air and the beautiful nature that surrounds us and, you know, that we have air in our lungs, that we are healthy, that we have this beautiful house uh, to be stuck in um, because some people don't even have a home to go home to. So there's so much things that we can be thankful for every day and let's try not to get into that, um, get caught up in all the negativity going around us. Um, and last, I just want to point out, too, that um, in the book of Revelations, it tells us that God would prefer that we be either hot or cold, but not lukewarm. And what does that mean? That means that he wants us all in or all out, but he doesn't want us somewhere in the middle. He doesn't want us with one foot in the church and one foot in the world. And so Amen. I know with these times, especially with us not maybe physically gathering at church and not doing our normal church routines, um, it can be really easy to get kind of lazy in our faith, if we're honest, um, and so or to get distracted. And so I just want to encourage you to not let that happen, to be intentional about taking time to pray and to worship. Um, if you're watching church online um, when they're worshiping, you know, lift up your hands at home, sing um, at home, just like you would at church. Um, read your Bible, pray fast, um, and, and let's use this as an opportunity to prove our hearts and our faith to God. Because right now we have a, a great opportunity to say, 
Are we going to still worship? Are we going to read? Are we going to pray? Are we going to fast? Are we going to share our testimonies even though we can't physically be in the church? It's our time to prove that we're actually being accountable for our relationship with God, that it doesn't rely on going to church on Sunday and just hearing the word from our pastor, that we're doing everything in our power to stay on fire and, and still find ways to serve and, and um, be active with our faith. And we know that faith comes from hearing the word of God, so let's just do as much as we can um, to stay on fire for the Lord. And I pray that God stir up the gifts he has put inside each and every one of you, wherever you are right now. And let's use the technology that we have for our advantage um, to advance the kingdom of God and try not to get distracted. Um, it's easy, you know, to sign into Facebook and want to watch church and maybe get distracted by other posts and never even get there to the church service. Or, um, you know, to tune into Netflix instead of reading the Bible. So let's just make it, um, time for God and take time to be intentional about our relationship with God in these times. And with that said, I want to turn this over to our worship team now, who's going to sing two songs for you. They are in Spanish, but I would encourage you all um, to sing along if you can, if you want to in English. I'm sure most of you will recognize the tunes. Um, one is going to be Hosanna, a cover mm -hmm. of a hill song, Hosanna. And the other one is How Great Is God. Um, so if you, if you know the songs, feel free to lift up your hands and sing. Or if you don't, just soak in God's presence. And I pray that God just overwhelm you with his presence wherever you may be in this moment. And I pray that he gives you peace that surpasses all understanding. Amen. And so, thank you. We hope you enjoy. I'm going to introduce a part of the worship team here at Fox in Mexico. And I'm going to start with the, the drummer, he's Jonah. Hola. Okay, here's Nata. He plays the bass and guitar. Hello. Isai, he plays the guitar and bass also. Hello. Right here is Diana. Hola. And Miriam. Hola. And then uh, together we are the worship uh, team here at Fox City Medical.
Thank you guys. We're so glad you could join us today. We hope you enjoyed the worship and we pray that the Holy Spirit touched you and moved through your hearts wherever you are. We're so thankful for all your love, support, and prayers. Um, it does make a difference. And thanks to your generosity, we've been able to continue sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ here in Mexico. So people are getting saved. They are getting baptized. Um, they are having huge changes in their family lives. And so you are making a difference. And we couldn't do it 
without your support. So we're so thankful that you guys allow God to use you. Um, and so we just want to close in prayer. And so I'm just going to ask that we bow our heads and, and close our eyes wherever you are. Um, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for all that you've been doing with the Hope City ministry. We're so glad to be the chosen vessels you have been using, Lord, to spread your gospel throughout the world. We're so thankful to be on this journey. We pray, Lord, for all of those who are struggling through these times. We pray, Lord, that you would just be with them and help us all, Lord, to trust you. Help us to remember that we don't need to understand, but that we just need to trust that you are in control. You are still on the throne. We cancel every spirit of fear, depression, anxiety, and isolation in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray that you just continue to move through the hearts of the people everywhere, that you continue to use us as your mighty vessels to be the light of the world you called us to be, that you give us strength and courage and boldness, Lord, to share your word with whatever means we can through these difficult times. And just know, Lord, that um, we know that you are in control and that you are going to have the victory, for you always win. Good over, good always wins. And we know, Lord, that the devil, he can't hold us back. So let us be brave enough to not just sit down and be quiet, but to continue worshiping you through our daily lives, wherever we be. We know, Lord, that this is not the end, and we trust in your plans, for your plans for us are always better than our own. So we thank you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.